Hi everybody, today we're going to make another recipe that is a little bit different than traditional recipes out there. This is uh, very Sicilian. It is stuffed peppers, pepperoni ripieni. Now there are two different kinds of peppers. These are the long peppers and then they are the round and kind of shaped like an apple. Those I will be doing it another day and I will be doing with a different filling and um, that will be calabrese style. This is the Sicilian style. So I'm going to show you these peppers. I already washed them. We need to remove the top and the seeds and then I will go to the filling. Okay, before I go ahead and show you uh, how to uh, prepare the peppers, I'm going to show you all the ingredients. The ingredients for this particular recipe are breadcrumbs. Now, the, the ideal breadcrumb will be something that is with, made by fresh Italian bread. If you have one of those long French baguette kind of bread, um, that will be ideal. If you don't have it and you really have to use the seasoned already uh, made breadcrumbs, that will be fine too. But right now, because this is fresh bread, what I did, I already blend, um, grinded in a blender. Small pieces, this two or three of these, and put it in a blender, in a grinding, in the grinding mode and finally uh, grind it to this consistency, you can see. You would also need, in this case, black pepper. I'm not using the famous crushed red pepper that I normally use. For this recipe, we need black pepper. Then we need capers. And I have about three to four tablespoons of capers. Then we have Parmigiano cheese. I have about a quarter of a cup. You can increase it or decrease the amount of cheese. It's, it's up to you. It's up to your test buds, how much cheese you like. But I, I start with about a quarter, of, a quarter of a cup. And then I can always add as, as I go. Then we also need white olives. And these are pretty big. So what I used for, for right now, I chopped it very finely and I have about 12 to 14 olives right now. And then I have some um, cheese. You can use pepper, pepper jack cheese. You can use any flavor cheese that you have. Right now we have the garden vegetable jack cheese. So I chopped about, again, a quarter of a cup to half a cup of that, that cheese. If you have a preference for provolone cheese, provolone, the sharp one, would also cook very well. You can use flavored cheese. Basically, you need flavored cheese for this, in addition to the Parmigiano cheese. And then we need olive oil. Okay, so you go to the peppers now, you need to scoop it up the top and scoop out also the seeds that happen to be in the very beginning of the, the very front of the pepper. And you keep on going as it comes, as many as you have. Right now I have a whole bag full of them, so they are about 12 for this packaging. And depends how you want to use this recipe. Do you want to use it as a side dish or as a main dish? If you happen to have a lot of guests and you want to use it as a side dish, this makes a perfect side dish. The next step is to put a little bit of olive oil in some kind of a skillet, either flat or deep, in, in any way you have it, non-stick and let the, the oil become nice and, and hot. Pretty medium to, to high right now. And what we are going to do, 
we are going to um, kind of make the bread crunch crunchy become crunchy so I'm gonna stick it in there and then stir it until it becomes nice and golden brown and then we can prepare it we can season it with those ingredients now for people who like also the the flavor of anchovies this recipe will go very well with anchovies and in that situation I will use two to three anchovies and I would like you to see how the bread starts to to look and um, and you can hear the the crickling sound of um, <clears throat> getting cooked and I tasted and the flavor started to be uh, coming out because it's fresh bread so and that's the whole idea to get the flavor out okay see and you can see that it's starting to change color a little bit um, overall it has been about five to seven minutes so now we are going to fold in the ingredients the rest of the ingredients so I have the pepper jack cheese I have the parmigiano cheese and I have I'm gonna put a lot of pepper this is very delicious with lots of black pepper so I used about one teaspoon one to two teaspoon is fine depends on how hot you like it Then I'm folding in also the olives. You don't need salt. I just want to mention this now because the, the capers are very salty and the olives are very salty. So you really don't need to add salt for this recipe. Otherwise it becomes extremely salty. Now this recipe can be fried or it can be baked. I have chosen to bake it because we are all healthy, conscious people nowadays. And then you want to spread it and coat it with some olive oil because it has to cook. The pepper needs to have some moisture. Now the goal is to get the stuffing as deep down as, as you can manage to get it in. I suggest to use a spoon and kind of aid yourself with it. You can also use your finger and try to push it in. This is it comes in this size or it comes in a longer in a longer um, style as well and if you want to toast this and make a nice uh, garlic bread you spread some olive oil on both sides then you use some garlic Indeed, I have a garlic and pepper seasoning Go 
of like parmesan and cheese. And you put it in the toaster or you put it in the oven for about 5 to 10 minutes. And when it's nice and cold, you serve it together.